Ladies, we all know that a dinner party can be a delicious cocktail of anecdotes, flirting and joie de vivre. But occasionally, there will be that one boring guest who brings the whole evening down by continually talking about their kids, property prices and politics. So tonight, I'm going to show you a surefire way to ensure that your dinner party conversation is suitably entertaining for all your guests. Just invite some close friends who have recently broken up, or better still, just gotten a divorce. But make sure that you don't tell either of them that the other one's coming. Hello, single girl. Hello. Mwah, mwah. Come in. It's also a good idea to invite one of them an hour earlier than the other to ensure they get a few drinks in. Oh, God. What the hell is she doing here? Oh, great. This is going to be fun. It certainly is. And if either person has started seeing someone new, don't forget to invite them as they're crucial to the evening's entertainment. Oh, and who's this? Excuse me, but who the hell are you? Choose your music carefully. Then, just sit back and enjoy the entertainment. Can't believe Sigourney even invited you to this dinner in your cheap little dress. Oh, yeah, you would know it's a cheap dress. It's the only thing you bought me in the four years we were together. For four years, I had to put up with this whinging oh, shit. Well, I'm sure another four hours won't kill you. Oh, don't be so childish. I mean childish. childish. You're yes. the one who left without even leaving a note. Essential facts. Oh, yes, and mysterious email. facts. I don't yeah, want to talk about nothing. It. Before dessert is served, your guests will be treated to a real-life operatic drama with a bitchy Melrose place feel, and you'll be the hottest hostess in town. Bon appetit. But you were too drunk to remember anyone on our wedding. <laughs>